And therefore, I would like to invite Albert Bagno and Bruno Luciano, who worked during the implementation of the Low Carbon Business Action uh, in Brazil on the impact assessments of the program, to share their initial findings on the technology target demand of the Brazilian market. So, uh, Albert, Bruno, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Liz. Uh, hello, everyone. Well, as said, uh, Liz said, my name is Albert Bano. I'm part of the Low Carbon team. So in the coming minutes, I will be explaining some of the work done for the identification of business opportunities for European companies that work in low carbon sectors, right? The low carbon project is in, a, is in a transition point from the current phase to the next one that will be soon. So it is key to start defining when possible technological areas of focus for the next one. Considering always we have from one side, European SMEs reaching international markets, and on the other side, we want to accelerate the transformation of Brazil into, into a greener uh, economy. Um, so we have started with the exercise by defining some areas of analysis that will guide us in the process. Uh, starting, for example, from basic ones, like the emissions panorama in Brazil by economic uh, activity. We want to also analyze as well the low carbon products and services that will be needed in Brazil. Uh, analyze the competitive advantage that EU has in these products to finally understand um, where are the most relevant low carbon business opportunities for European SMEs um, uh, that will work in Brazil in the coming years. Okay? So the idea, the idea is to finally have a qualified pipeline of business opportunities for European um, SMEs. Okay? Next one, please. So to give some context to those of you not aware of the uh, emissions uh, scenario in Brazil, uh, the country con concentrates 69% of the uh, emissions in agriculture and related activities as well as uh, deforestation. So we are expecting to see a lot of low carbon technology. <laughs> Uh, we have some initial results on what we believe is the most relevant low carbon technology. What you are seeing in this table is what are the most seventeen different emission sectors. And the selection of technologies has been based on factors as impact on emissions reduction the support they have from Brazilian public climate policies and funds, or the abatement costs they present. Uh, we have very limited time today, but I, I think that you'll be able to download the presentation and have a better look at it after the session. So, from, we are right now in this table. From this point, next step is to identify for products and services will be So that we can ensure that technology can correctly scale locally in Brazil. Next one, please. Um, about products and services, uh, we have preliminary results for six technologies for now. Okay. For example, for solar energy, so the technology is growing exponentially. In the country. And one might think that there are great opportunities for the NSMEs. However, most of the sorts of Sorry, we cannot we cannot hear you. Allow me to ask for for uh, Bruno to close the mic of that person, and and, and so that you can continue. Okay, yes. thank you very much. Thank you. Please go ahead. Thank you. So yes, we were saying about the solar energy that we see that there's a lot of opportunities in that, but you know, um, most of the sourcing is made from China or even locally. Only few elements such as software or, for example, high efficiency batteries, we see that will be products really building a compelling business case for a European uh, SME, SME coming to uh, Brazil. Or taking the, gas, the case of biogas. Um, Brazil is sitting on an enormous um, amount or source of biomass. Uh, it's uh, slowly awakening to the potential of, uh, to generate energy from that. Uh, seeing an increase on the number of plants in the country. Um, this allows the local supply chain to be developed with less and less required to be imported. Uh, having said that, we consider that there's still room for many European biogas bio technology suppliers as we've seen today. And especially, for example, for takes of separation of contaminants, 
uh, urban waste separation machinery or text for treatment of biomass with high percentage of solids. Okay, so these are some of very preliminary results we have at the moment. Uh, we know it's a lot of information to digest in such a short space of time, but the idea was to give you some uh, taste on what we are working on. I said you will have access to this document after the presentation, so I'm sure you will be able to review all the information mentioned uh, afterwards. And uh, we hope that in the coming months, Low Carbon will be able to inform all of you of the final results of the analysis that we are carrying out right now. Thanks a lot.